All right, in the last tutorial, I showed you how to create a template for a custom home page. In this one, in this tutorial, I want to use the Kirky Toolkit to make a banner for our home page. So, from our dashboard, if we go to Appearance Customizer, we'll create a, a panel in here where you can click into it and add an image with some text up here so you can have like a big call out uh, banner with some text in there. So let's get started. Um, I already have tutorials on how to add the Kirky framework, so you should be using a theme that's ready for this. I'm currently using StratPress with uh, you know Kirky already added. So what we're going to do is jump in and add a home page panel in our customizer, and then start adding these different options. So I'm going to go to adding panels, get the get the code that I need here copy that put it in here for my panel ID I'm going to do home page home page home page panel I need to change my text domains All right, let's see what that did. If that did anything for us. If we reload our customizer, probably it's not added because there's nothing added to that panel. So now that we have a panel, we can go ahead and start adding a section to our panel. So I did it this way, uh, added a panel and then sections because I didn't want to just keep adding sections down here. Say for example, I have a big banner, then I have a few call outs, and I have some maybe some custom post types or something like that. I didn't want this to get you know too much on this page. So if I created a home page panel, I can click on that home page and then there will be different sections within there. So you'll see here in a second what I'm talking about. So now we'll go to adding sections. Same thing, grab this code. Uh, paste it in here. I'll speed this up a little bit so you don't have to watch me type. You can see I added the section called it uh, Homepage Hero. The title is Homepage Hero, and then blah 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 blah. So save that. Now let's go into the customizer here. We still got nothing. So now what we need to do is start adding fields to our section. So this is pretty simple. So what I want to do is add a. a text field and also an image upload so the user can upload an image and change the text that's displayed within the banner. So the first thing we want to do is go down to uh, text down here. You can see here uh, this is the code that we need to copy. So let's copy that and put it into our customizer.php so I haven't filled here this uh, my config right here is whatever you set up here in the add config so mine is strap press underscore, underscore theme so that's what that is the type is text my setting is hero text that's how we're gonna call it on the front end to pull whatever settings in here and then this is the labels and stuff like that so let's save that now when we upload the customizer we should have this home page. See, now we have this home page panel. And when we click in here, now we have this home page hero section. When we click in there, and then we have the fields. So, again, that's why I added a panel and then sections. So, when I have when I click into this home page panel, now I'll have this hero section and then as I develop this theme out, I may have some options down here to customize more things, you know, down the page. Maybe I have a setting to turn on and off my custom portfolio section or, you know, I maybe have three call outs that I customize from here. And we'll we'll do some of that in tutorials moving forward. But all right, now we have the uh, text here. Now let's add something so we can upload an image. So back in the documentation grab this image same thing let's grab this I'm gonna save you some time watching me type here so paste that in here again strap press theme is what's set up here 
and then the type is image hero underscore image and just the default label descriptions and in this section both here and here notice it's homepage underscore hero and that's how it knows which section that you want to add these fields to so homepage underscore hero adds it to this section here perfect so let's save that and then when we reload the customizer again go into our homepage homepage hero now we have this section that we can upload an image you just select file and it goes to your uh, media alright so now we have those fields now all we need to do is display these fields on within our template so back into our code I created this template dash home in the last tutorial so I'm going to I'm going to add these fields to this template file so you can go uh, to the image and you can see how there's some usage here and we can grab this code because that's what we want to do we want to display this image we need to make sure that we use the right settings so the image here would be hero image hero underscore image we want to get that and it's going to be set to image here I'm going to go ahead and call it hero underscore image in case I use image somewhere else same with here hero underscore image take this out here so now we have a uh, it's going to set this background image to whatever is in our hero image so now let's add our text within this hero image area so if you go to text it doesn't really have the usage it, I think it tells you how to do it right here in the getting fields but it's pretty much the same it's pretty easy to do we just need to um, grab our hero text so let's do the same thing hero underscore text equals pretty much similar to this but instead of hero image it's going to be hero text and then down here we can open some PHP tags and do a echo hero text pretty simple there alright let's save that Let's go into our customizer, reload here, go into home page. You can see that the default text is already being added, which is the field here. Now let's go ahead and add a banner behind it as well. Let's select something here. All right, so it's being added. We have the text up here. Now all we need to do pretty much is just add some styles. So in my theme, I have this SAS. And then I have uh, what I call blocks, so different just elements. Maybe I use them throughout the theme. I don't normally call this like homepage hero unit because I may want to use a hero unit, you know, on another page. So I just style things like in a modular way so I can reuse them over and over again. So in, within blocks, you'll see that I'm including hero. So I may have like, you know, 10 things going on here. Maybe hero, you know, portfolio items, whatever it might be. So within this hero I went ahead and added some styles so you can see uh, this class sp-hero set the min height do the background position make it background size cover and yada 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 and then h1 tags I'm gonna wrap the uh, text in an h1 so all we need to do is just add this class right here class equals sp dash hero and then I'm going to wrap this in h1 save that and now when we reload cool you can see our big banner here I have a min height set you can go back and look at our styles here min height of 500 I targeted that h1 within the sp-hero 
I aligned it center, I set the color to white, and I did a little bit of padding on the top. So you can kind of play around with this. You know, you may want to add several different, you know, text sections. Maybe this is a text field and, you know, you let the user add whatever headers they want. Maybe, you know, you take the the header class out of here so they can actually add it in here and you know you have styles already set for them maybe you add more text fields where you have one over here and one to the right you know this is just an example so to get you going to show you how to do it but let's save and publish that and we look on our front end here we'll see that our banners being added so of course you have to add some styles to uh, you know take out that padding if you want to flush it up to the navigation also add some padding at the bottom but that's pretty much how to use Kirky to add a banner and a nice jumbo call out section on the home page of your theme before I close out though I want to show you one quick thing um, if we keep adding things down this page in this home page template it's gonna get pretty convoluted with all kinds of code in here so what I normally do is go into my template parts here and uh, do something like new folder, like home. There it is. And then within here, a new file. And then in my template parts, I go ahead and grab all this code here. I mean, in my template dash home, I grab that. And then this new file, put this in there. And you can add a comment up here of what this actually is. But we'll save that. I and mean, then in templates parts, do like a hero hero banner. Save that. And then in our where that code was at, we can do something similar to this, like get template parts. Copy that. Paste it in here. We need some PHP tags. Command X. Put this in there. So template parts. We want to do home slash hero banner. So we we'll refresh looks good so then you can you know you can copy this you can have several different template parts depending on what what you have another thing you could do is also do like a check uh, you can either do that check in here or uh, outside outside in this file but what what I normally want to do is if that if this ban this homepage banner image isn't showing you know you don't want to really display this text or it'll look kind of weird. Let me show you what I'm saying. Remove this, and then we just have this blank area here. So what you could do is you do like a PHP if open these up hero underscore image is not equal to blank then don't show any of this and then we need to end if end if like that there so now when we reload It looks good. So home page, home page image, save and publish that. And then when we reload, it takes it away. So we still have this default text in here, but it's not showing because inside this check, if there's no home page image shown, then it's not going to do any of this stuff inside here. So that's just something to think about if you're trying to you know make sure things are set before they're displayed it's always good to check to make sure things are set and do if statements you know to have, show some default text or maybe you show a default image or something like that so I'm gonna end this tutorial here and you can ask questions if you have them below